in between the bushes over there. So we're just gonna wait for the, the guys to stop moving around so that we can go and have a bit of a closer look. Pardon? No, just at the base of the Termal Mount, exactly where Dylan is going in. So you see the Marula? Yes. The middle one, go a bit to your left. But I'm gonna go slightly closer and hopefully we'll be able to. Okay, hang on. Okay, let me see. There we go. Yes. <gasps> Hello. Ah, are you calling for your cub? See, that's a contact call for Shadow. She's busy looking for the cub. And I'm not too sure if the cub is on top of the mound. <gasps> it is. The little cub is on top of the termite mound. So they're both here. Oh my goodness, this is wonderful. Pardon? Uh, I don't I don't know if you'll be able to. I'm gonna try going forward. Sorry, Seb. I think it's just a bit of a tricky one. So if you look to the top of the termite mound to the right, that little yeah, that bundle there. <laughs> yes, no, I know, that's why I thought you couldn't see it. Sorry, I got a bit carried away there because I'm slightly forward. Is that the kill over there? There it is. You see, I think it's eating a scrub here. So it should have been good with the scrub here than the little one. If it is a scrub here, but it looks like it. Well, hello, youngster. I think this is the only, uh, only the second time that I've ever seen it. <laughs> Clearly, Mom has been doing a fantastic job of keeping it safe. And at least I got lucky with one of the sisters, because I think Tandi and Tamba haven't been too friendly. <laughs> at least to me, but you know, if they were being chased by Tingana yesterday, I'll forgive them. But very nice to see this tiny little one. How special is this? And the camouflage. <laughs> My goodness, the camouflage is amazing. We, oh, if guys hadn't told us that they were here, imagine how easily we could have just missed them and missed all this fun. Someone's hungry. Hello. Oh, precious little thing. Wonderful. Still eating. Voracious appetite, hey? <gasps> How big of a leopard of you. How cute is that? The instinct is kicking in and it already knows exactly what to do with its skill and what to do with it and how to carry it. So uh, as soon as it felt like there was another car, it grabbed it around. Ash is one. You're wondering if the little one has a name yet. Um, no, it doesn't have a name yet. It's still a bit too young to have a name. Um, so I think with Shadow, it's always good to wait <laughs> for a little while, see how she, how her cubs do, because she hasn't been the most successful of mothers. But um, the little one has gone all the way back down on the termite mound. Maybe perhaps it's retreated into an area where it feels like it's a bit safer. But there's Mother Shadow looking, looking quite sleepy. Nothing to worry about. And she was calling it earlier, so I wonder if maybe she wanted it to bring down the scrub hair that it caught. <laughs> Pretty. This is wonderful. <laughs> so lucky as well that she she caught it and she kept the cub right next to the main road so that we could see it. But great 
Great work, girl. Seems like you've been doing well with the scrub hairs. You see, any she's only got a small cub and, and just the one. So uh, that little one will be able to have a very good meal out of that scrub here. Even something like a mongoose would still be a good meal for it because it's not that big yet. But we, when we were looking at it earlier, voracious appetite. So I think maybe Shadow is a bit tired. She could probably have been moving around the whole evening just to try and, and succeed and catch one of these little things. Or maybe she caught it just in the early hours of the morning. And now she's probably gone down for a very well-deserved rest. Still quite alert, her ears are constantly moving around. Mario, you're wondering if the baby's teeth are strong enough to chew through flesh. Um, they are. They can probably uh, crush through thinner bone as well, maybe just not the, the bigger bones. But little leopards, uh, when they're about maybe six to eight weeks old, that's when the mom starts introducing them to meat. So this one is already a few months old and she cannot sustain it just with the milk. So. They need to start eating meat, and the more they eat it, then, well, clearly they're going to learn how to um, wangle their way around <laughs> the different body parts and how to get to the good meaty parts that there are. But yeah, definitely can, and I don't know if you saw earlier, it grabbed the little one, and or the little scrub here, and then it took it all the way back down. So he's got a, quite an understanding of what to do. Are you calling for it? Yeah, she's still calling for the cub. You see, and she, every now and again she goes like... Wah, wah. That's her looking for it. No one likes me. You're wondering how many months the the little one needs to be looked after. So, with leopards in general, most mothers will stay with their young ones until they're about maybe a year and a half two years old and then once they have their next litter then that's when they'll become less tolerant of their older cubs and start pushing them away so i would say this little one has got at least another year under its mother's care still a while however we have a very unique case of two younger leopards who are actually half sister and half brother of this one that we're looking at that um their mother seems to have gone missing and they have done a fantastic job at surviving. I think they were a bit too young when they when they had to start being on their own, but they've done a great job at just pretty much staying alive and looking well. Hello, Shadow. Uh, um, yes? Okay. All right, uh, I'm just going to, I don't know, okay, I'm going to move so that they can move around. Does he, I don't understand if he wants to reposition or get out. Are you coming out? All right, we're going to figure out what to do around here, but in the meantime, let's go over to Byron, who's still busy looking for the wild dogs. I hope he'll be lucky.